Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Salt Stack from Scratch series. In our previous episode, we learned how to install and configure Salt Master and a Minion. Today, we will go over Salt Formulas, also known as Salt States. We will learn how to create formula and how to apply it to our Minions. Let's start with quickly defining a Salt Formula, or also known as Salt State. Basically, these are files in YAML format that contain instructions that will be applied to our minions. They can be used to install packages, to apply configurations, to start and stop services, to create new users, and many other tasks that you may want to run against your minions. All formulas have extensions SLS and must be placed in a specific directory and environment. The path to this directory is configured in the salt master configuration file. So let's get to, to our configuration file. So it's going to be etc salt master. So we're getting that file. And this configuration setting could be found under file roots. So we're going to search for file underscore roots. And when you go down here and you see that our file roots is the environment is base and the path to where your formulas should be is SRV salt. Now you can change those, you can add new ones, but salt recommends that unless you really have a reason why you want to have a different ones, just stick to the default one which is base and the path is SRV salt. So to continue, we're going to exit this file and we're gonna to go to SRV, and the salt directory does not come by default, so we're gonna to have to create it ourselves. So like your salt. So there you go, we're pretty much ready. We can start building our formulas. Now, the first formula that we wanna build will be called top SLS. So I'm gonna do nano, top, and you can use any text editor that you want, I like to use nano, so nano top SLS. So top SLS, or also known as high state, is a formula that contains instruction that tells out which formulas will be applied to which minions. So it basically, it's kind of like, um, it, it basically, it defines the scope of what will be installed where. And as every other formula, it's in YAML format and it has extension SLS. And the main thing about this is you need to know is that it always must contain three components. First thing is environment, which in our case will be base. And I'm gonna kinda just uh, put a tab and put a note here. So, so this is our environment. The next thing is it needs to have a target, so Here's where you can target, and in this case, I'm going to put um, just a wild card like this. So it's going to target to all minions, and I'm going to say target. And the third component is the state. This is basically the salt state or the formula that we're going to be applying to the to our target. So here that will be state. And I'm gonna put, I forgot to comment this here, make sure that it doesn't break for us. And in this case, let's say uh, we'll create a formula that will install a package. So we're gonna call it add, actually to install and remove packages formula. So add, remove, package, add, remove, package. So one thing to remember is when you put the formulas here, you don't have to put the SLS extension. All you have to do is put their names and salt knows and where to find them. So I'm just gonna kind of copy that. And now once you have this, this is basic, basically the very basic instructions that you need to have in this file. So again, you need a base environment, which is our default, the target. In this case, I'm gonna apply this to all minions. And here's gonna be our first package that we're gonna apply. It's gonna be called add remove packages. So I'm gonna exit and save. And now I'm gonna create a formula here that I will call um, add remove package, right? And as we said, it has to be in SLS format. There you go. And in this package here, we're gonna make it so 
It will apply to all of our minions. We have two minions from the previous video. If you remember, we built minion 201 and 202. And if you remember, one of them we put the Midnight Commander. Let's see which one. All right, so in 201, um, we have the Midnight Commander. And in 202, we do not have it. So in our formula here, we're going to instruct the minions that we don't want to have Midnight Commander in them, so we're going to get it removed. So all you have to do is you give it the name of the, of the package. In this case, it's Midnight Commander. And then you want to say PKG removed. And that's all you have to do. And once you run that formula, it's going to go in and it's going to remove move Midnight Commander from your minion. And then the next thing what we want to do is with this same formula, so it applies to both of our minions, we let's say we're going to install um, Apache. Okay, so we're going to say Apache. Like let's say you want to spawn a web servers, right? You want to install Apache. So we're going to do Apache 2. Did you spell it right? Yep, Apache 2. And then we're going to say pkg dot installed. If you run this, Apache will get installed. But what we also want to do is once we get our server installed, we want to make sure that uh, the Apache service is running. So you do Apache 2, and then you're going to say service, and we will say service dot running and then we'll say the name of the service or name up oh, Mr. Space here name Apache 2 and here I'm going to say enable true so this will ensure that after Apache is installed, Apache service is up and running. So now I'm going to exit out of here. And we can give it a try. Now what you can do is, um, so for example, if I want to apply um, just this formula, all you have to do is say, you know, like we did it in our previous episode, you can say salt. And if you want to apply it to all minions, you can... Um, put like this or what you can also do is um, you can apply it to a specific minion right you can put the name of the minion and then you, then you can do state dot apply and then put the name of the formula you can run it like this and this will apply this single formula to all of the minions um, but what we want to do is we want to apply it through the top file that way, like, let's say right now we in our top file, we only have one formula, but if we would have had like five of them and you want to run them, all of them, um, instead of typing them one at a time, you want to apply the top SLS file. So what you want to do is you want to run the high state or as we said earlier, the top SLS file. So all we have to do is run it to state apply and that will execute the top file or the high state and it will apply to all of your minions. So I'm going to run this. And what this will do is, oh, and it failed. Let's see, what did we do wrong here? Let's check our top file first. Okay, I think I see what it is. I'm missing a column here. We added our column there, and now I can um, try to run it again. And hopefully that was the only error. Yeah, it's taken a little bit longer, so I think it's working now. So basically uh, what that should do is it will remove MC from both machines, and in our case, it will remove it only from um, the 201, right? Because it wasn't on the 202, and we'll install Apache on both of them, and it will start the Apache service. So let's kind of go over the log and see what it did. So if you look here, you can see that it went on 202, it tried to remove the uh, Midnight Commander, but that was already absent. Then it installed Apache, and then if you, if you go down here, it made sure that the Apache is up and running. And then it went to the 202 server and it removed the Midnight Commander. It installed Apache and then it made sure that the Apache is up and running. So now if we go back to here and if we run MC, 
and we see that MC is not here, it doesn't exist, right? And if we check the services here, services, we can see, why is this not working? Oh, I spelled services, so it's service, sorry. Service status all, and we can see that we have Apache and it's up and running. And if we check it on this one too, we can say that we have Apache up and running. And now we can also give it a quick test and um, check it in our web browser. So if we go to 192.168.0.202, I guess, we'll see the Apache's home welcome page. Or if we go to 201, we have both Apache servers up and running. And so basically that's how these formulas work. So let's do this. Let's create another formula. We'll call it index SLS. You can call it anything. I'll call it index SLS. And in that formula, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to use the managed file, fun uh, file managed function. And what we're going to do is we're going to tell it to go in and replace the index file in Armenian with the index or the version of the index file that we have um, on our master. So first thing you have to do is you have to give it path to where you want your file to go. So in our case, it's gonna be the default for Apache on Debian will be var www forward slash html and then index dot html. So the first thing you wanna specify is where is this file located on your minion? The next thing you want to do is we're going to give it the function which is file.managed and the third thing that we're going to do is give it the source. So source and in our case the source will be um, we're just going to we're just going to run this from our um, oops, it's supposed to be salt. We're just going to run this from our base um, SRV salt. So I'll just give the name of the file. The name of the file will be index dot HTML and I'm gonna save this. Oh, yes. Alright, so if I list it here, we have the um, the index SLS. Um oh I should have called it something else. It gets a little confusing like this. So let's call it change index. So I'm just gonna rename it. Uh, let's rename the index to change index dot SLS. So just rename that file. That looks that way is going to look a little bit different. The, uh, that way is going to look a little bit clearer because now I'm going to have to create actually the index uh, HTML file too. So what I'm going to do here is now is now index dot HTML and I'm going to say here this was let's say this page was brought to you by salt there you go and so the next thing we want to do is again um, we have the formula the change index formula but we want to put that now in our high state or top file right so we're going to go on our top file and here we're going to keep the same environment but we're going to change the target so our target this time is going to be only we're going to put it in only one of our minions I can get too much space here and so let's say we have we have our minion 201 and our minion 202 so we're going to put it in our 202 minion okay like right now if we go let's just check and make sure if, oh let's do our yeah so let's check we're going to go to our 202 minion and we get this um apache welcome page so we're going to go back to our master and we're going to say you can spell out the full name of the minion or you can use it with a wildcard like this like let's say you have multiple minions that you wanted to apply it and they have something in common um, you can do it that way with a wildcard or if you don't want to type the full name so in my case I'm just going to do star uh, 202 and then I'm going to close the quotes then I'm going to put the south formula name or again the state um, and that would be change underscore index, right? I'm going to save it, change underscore index. Actually, I misspelled it. G, uh, I'm missing an E there. So let's one more name change. Sorry about that. 
I gotta work on my typing. It's gonna be A here, right? Oops, this is not, there you go. Change, all right, finally, wow, that was that was difficult. Let me check it here again, is it good? Oh my goodness, I have it wrong in the bold places. What's wrong with me? There you go. Change index. Wow, that was difficult. All right, so now that I have that, I can just run um, salt. And I'm going to run it against all the minions. And I'm going to say state.apply. And we'll run it. And what that would do is, oh, what happened now? Uh, let me check our top file. Looks good. I'll go check my. Uh, no, it wasn't index. What did we call it? Change index. And okay, I think I'm missing another column here. All right, there you go. And now let's give it another try. Hey, and it worked. So it was the column that was missing. So if you look at it, you can see that it, so basically it went through the top file, right? And where does it start? It starts here. So it went through the top file. It checked for the MC to get it removed from all the minions. And, you know, with, from 201 actually first it started. It wanted to remove it. The package doesn't exist already. It then tried to install Apache, but it's all patches already installed. It's all the servers running. Then it moved to the 201 again. It went through everything that we have in our top file. Um, the package is removed, the patchy is running and it's installed. And then it went in and it um, changed the index HTML file. So it noticed that it has to remove all this stuff from the file. And all it did is it added the what's in the new file. You know, you can see the minuses is where it removes stuff and the pluses were added to the file. So if we now go back to our browser, and refresh the page and we're going to see that in the 202 minion um, we have this new index file versus if we go back to the 201 we get the uh, default apache page so basically that's how salt formulas work stay tuned for my next video in which i'm going to show you how to manage linux based servers without having minions on them Again, thank you for watching. Uh, please follow my channel. And if you like this video, click on that like button.